record. Okay. All right, so welcome girls, and thank you for coming to Lie with Prima tonight. It, I'm very excited. Um, I am slightly have a slight bit of the sniffles tonight, so just bear with me, and we'll get through it together. So I'm going to just do a few announcements right now, so in case I forget later. I like to do them now and just get it over with. Um, next show is tomorrow night at 6.30 Pacific Time. There's a special edition of Live with Prima. It is from Prima Headquarters with Susie West. Let's take a look at what's going on behind the scenes for the Let's Get Creative event happening this weekend and see what the girls at the event are making. Hands-on projects fill with Prima. Lots of ideas and techniques will be shared. All right, Art Venture in California is January 6th and 7th, 2015. I almost forgot what year we were in. Uh, book your spot. They are filling up real fast. Um, if you are a retailer and are attending CHA or want to experience an amazing Prima event, join us for this fabulous event. Go to Prima Marketing Flowers fan, uh, Facebook page and click events. I think events is up at the top to get all the info. And thirdly, uh, special delivery kits. I had uh, the pleasure of doing the first one that was so fun. It's available on livewithprima.com. You're going to click shop and see the latest amazing Prima kit. You're going to get yours for $39.99 and there, it's a $100 value. It is chock full of amazing product. Um, you will not be disappointed. And you're going to email Frank with any questions at frank at primamarketingincorporated or inc.com. And there are a limited number of kits, so you want to get yours right away. I always like to get on the bandwagon first. So, so go ahead and get one of those while they are available. Okay, ready? Who's on tomorrow night is Susie West. She is a special guest at Prima Headquarters. They always have such a cute little setup. All right, ready girls? Okay, so tonight I'm gonna to be sharing with you a layout I did of coffee break paper. Um, it is coffee break collection based. Uh, I have a, a few oldies but goodies that are my favorites that I wanna um, reassess and bring back. Uh, I think that you'll enjoy that. And I'm also going to be showing you how I find the perfect uh, color combinations to match my background. So we're going to be going through some flowers. I'm going to be showing you the new vellum flowers. They are one of my favorites from this collection. I was really surprised. I'm not really into vellum and I thought that they were beautiful. And we're going to be misting them with color bloom and they're going to be matching the background. So it's going to be awesome. So I got my tissues and I got my drink and I got the supplies. So we're ready to go. Okay? Coffee Break collection is super popular and I like it a lot. Okay, so I'm going to pan down. Let me know if I am too loud. I don't want to be too loud for you ladies. Okay, let me see here. All right. Hold on, let me scroll up a little bit screen was blocking. Okay. I always have it crooked and that's always such a problem. Okay. Alright girls, let me get this stuff out of the way. Or girls and guys, I'm so sorry. Okay. So first up we're going to do the coffee break collection and I'm going to be sharing with you what I'm going to be using tonight. So let's break it down real quick and just zoom through it. Okay? Hold on. All right. So first off, I'm going to, this is what I'm going to be using tonight is a for coffee break collection and it's called Caffeine Fix. And it's perfect for me because I am always on a Caffeine Fix. They got on the background, on the back, you got this nice little print. But I'm going to be particularly using this tonight. There's this gorgeous floral with alphabet. Um, the alphabet is like different. It's just words. 
or um, not words, letters just strewn across the page. It's really pretty. It's just a nice balance of like shabby chic and just some black contrast with the letters is really pretty. And that number is 846725. And I'm just going to get out my nice little can here. Let me move this. All right, let's go through these. I'm going to be using the 3D stickers, and all I'm going to be using tonight is one of the little gems that I'm going to be putting in the center of the clock, okay? But I just want to show you these. These are so cute. They're layered, and they're 3D, and there's lots of dimension to them. Let me get it out. It's really pretty. And I actually just popped off one of the layers and put it on one of my layouts and so you can it's double the fun if you want to stretch your product you can just pull it off and then there's there's a second design underneath there too which is pretty and I love these gems okay and that is five seven six two six four I'm losing I'm dropping my flowers already all right let's put this can to the side sorry I'm I'm working in a tight squeeze tonight got to keep my computer nearby Okay, we're going to be using the Kulbra. They're the Cigar Box Secrets. For the layout that I you have online, that you see online, I had a uh, rosy, pinky tone flower that I used. And since I don't have those, I'm going to be improvising. Aren't those so pretty? Look how pretty they are. They have these uh, pearl centers. They're nice and fluffy. You can uh, fluff them up a lot. And they're, I mean, they're not too big either. They're just perfect. I'm going to probably be using the yellow ones um, to match that. And that number is 578640. I'm going to be using the Bubble Stencil by Finn. I love this because, and she did this size so you could, it would be easier for you to do art journaling. Uh, that's why there's a smaller size this time. And that is 961299. We're going to be using, well, I don't know if we're going to be using this tonight. I just have a sample of the new heavy gesso. It's 961442. It is heavy white. It's nice and smooth. It goes on real smooth and nice. And I'm go also going to, I also have a sample of the clear gesso, which we are going to be using. It's 961, oh, I'm sorry, hold on. Yes, 961466. Okay, we're going to be using the white sand texture paste. This is a really nice product that Finn came out with. There is Art Basics and Art Extravagance. And this is from the Art Extravagance line. There's um, texture paste, there's crackle, um, there's just a wide variety of different things that she came out with. And we're using white sand tonight. It just gives a nice touch of texture, but it still goes on smooth for being sand. Um, okay, <clears throat> let me see, where are these little tiny flowers, okay, where'd they get to? Oh, they fell in the trash can, that's not good. We're going to be using these Andalusian, and they are 577582, they are small, multicolored, I don't have an exact match, and it is from the same uh, package that I use these from. So I'm going to just be slightly altering these. They are multicolored, which is nice. Gives you a little bit of variety and just added interest. Here's the variety. And I used their, the ones I used had like a peachy and a yellow tone. But I'm going to be using the pink ones and trying to match them. So you can see me try to pull that off. <laughs> Okay, we're going to be using these, and I use these on my Forever Green, and I do love them. They're so pretty. I did use Noble, which is the turquoise. These are from the London collection. They are fabric, and they do have glitter on them. Really pretty. And they're about an inch big. They come in three different shades. So you got a wide variety of hues to choose from. Here's a Noble. It, which is five seven seven four four five, okay. And then I have the tiara, which matches perfectly with my layout. 
and those are 577469 and I will go back through I might add a pink one I'm not quite sure and those are Regal 577452 and they shimmer they're so pretty they have a lot of glitter on them but they are fabric okay I'm gonna put all that back yeesh I need a big bigger craft table okay and I'm sorry if I sneeze or have to blow my nose during tonight <coughs> oh, excuse me <coughs> okay next we're gonna be using um, sun these sunset twilight the vellum and I used five seven seven eight zero three And for tonight's purpose, since I don't have a duplicate of that, we're going to be using Nightfall, which is 577810. And we're going to be adding some Sorbet Color Bloom to the middle, and I think I'm going to throw on some glass beads because the sunset flowers do have a little bit of beads sprinkled on them already that's how they came and it's just pretty I want to try to mimic my layout my original as best I can tonight so we got the greenery the leaves I'm actually going to be using the ones from the forever green collection just subbing out it's five seven eight four zero four I'm going to be revisiting Ingle Balm's uh, street signs and it's it says your road there's Dream Road, My Place, Together, Moments, and Your Path. Aren't they cute? They're decent size. That's from the last season collection, I think. Those are 892116. We have the Inglebaum tassels. They are white. There's 892159. These are from the last collection as well. There's two tans and four whites. I think it would be cool if you, you can even miss these um, with some color bloom. Change it up a little bit for yourself if you want it to match your layout more. Um, and last we, we have the 891, I'm sorry, the tassels are 892159. Uh, we have the clock faces and the clock hands, which is 891. 596 and the clock hands are 891 589 look how much variety you get you get a lot here to choose from I'm going to be adding a little bit of dimension to that and layering them okay so those are real pretty let's try to find a spot to put all this stuff uh, we're going to be using Finnabar's glass beads in butter those are eight or I'm sorry nine six one seven zero one and then we're also going to be revisiting um, the color bloom sprays which are cotton candy five seven three seven three seven uh, sorbet which is actually one of my favorites it's really thick not thick vibrant color I shouldn't say thick um, it's just buttery goodness really like that one it's five seven three eight six or eight seven four soft teal five seven three seven eight two and peony which is five seven three nine zero four okay anybody have any questions for I zip through this let's get this off here all right ready to rock okay <laughs> why must work get in the way of playing with Prima alright so first off what we're gonna do is we're gonna prime our paper and I really am excited that Prima came out with clear gesso this time because I think that that is a really hot item right now um, the reason why I say that is you can 
add this to your paper and it adds a nice protective layer for any type of medium, especially color balloon sprays, watercolor, etc. Anything that's really watery, you're going to want to prime your paper or you're going to have to add layer after layer after layer. Um, I didn't even know that clear gesso existed until just recently and it is my newfound friend. So what's going to happen is I'm just going to take this brush and I'm actually going to prime most of my paper because you know the color bloom is just going to go crazy. I'm going to go crazy with it and I just want to make sure that the whole background is prepped. And again, the reason why I'm adding this clear gesso is so my medium does not soak through the paper because paper is really absorbent obviously so you don't want to have any issues with that I found myself always having to fight the medium and try to find a consistency and then dry and then add a layer and redry and the clear gesso just kind of takes that guesswork out or takes the work and paint out of it Yes. All right. Okay. So I'm going to put the lid back on. So we primed it up. I'm going to be adding a lot of mist up here to the top. Sorry, it's crooked. Don't know why that. Let's move this up a little bit. All right. So we got the clear gesso on, and I actually have one that is prepped and ready. So I'm going to swap that out. Now, what I also like about the clear gesso is that you're adding a lot, you're adding a layer, but it's really not changing the color or tone of your background at all, which is great. That's what I was most worried about when I first started out with the clear gesso. I was like, oh, is it going to alter the color of the paper? But no, it's it comes back dry. You don't even know it's on there. Okay, so let's see. Well, next next what we're going to do is we're going to add our color bloom it's moving around a lot and it's getting like all kinds of blurry it's getting all kinds of crazy okay so I'm just shaking these up getting them prepped now this soft teal is a perfect match to these green flowers it's really just perfect and these the it's it's amazing how well these all match together and at the bottom here what I like about this is it has a little color key I don't know if you can see it and it shows you the colors that are involved in it if you want to add match if you want to match things up um, so let's go uh, lightest to darkest and it's kinda hard difficult with these um, let's do some cotton candy first I would like this to not have to put this down. Okay. All right. Sorry, my snipples. Just getting that little ball in the bottom, just going to agitate the mist a little bit. Now I'm just adding here and there, and I add, did add a little bit down here in my original. So, and then I'm just going to do some soft squirting to get the droplets especially around the, the edge and I always come back in after the cluster the floral and embellishment cluster is on and just give it a final look over okay so that looks good you can let it drip if you want I'm gonna kinda marry these two colors since they're in the same family and they are and these uh, pink roses are tr are uh, bicolored with these two colors. Um, look at me, I'm pulling for it. <laughs> I already took it off. Okay, so we're just doing a little bit of squirting. I'm not going to do too much in here because you don't want to waste your product. You can always come back in, like I said. Just add a baby wipe over top your cluster and then just 
fill in where you where you missed you missed some spots okay so I'm gonna do a little bit here just a little I love that the pump is so it's so easy to pump it you're not like really trying to push it hard it's so easy and and it does the the water the little droplets I don't know what you want to call it but I think that's so savvy and smart of Prima to come up with the product that's like that okay so you can see how it's coming along now there's some sp splashing and then there's the bigger picture okay so it's running I use my fingers a lot when I'm crafting I found that they can be the best tools um, I'm going to just blast this real quick I found that they're the best tools when crafting and you can always wash your hands I am really rough on my tools and sometimes I just decide it's easier to use my fingers really nice like this this has a the color bloom has a really nice drying time it's not too fast so it's workable but in on the other hand it does it's a perfect drying time you have just amount right amount of time to get it on there and do what you need to do and yet still you're not sitting here for an hour drying how are we doing Hello everyone, welcome. Okay, so we're getting this dried up. Alright. So it's okay if it's still a little wet in some spots. I just wanted to get a nice base here. I get some in there. Okay. And over here. And then a little bit down here. Okay. Come back in. I really need a bigger table over here. So anybody have any questions about the color bloom? I'm reading about the finger thing. Yes. I, that happened to me actually just yesterday as well. I was, it was like super glue. Alright. Then one final. This is where the sorbet comes in. It's just, it's a perfect match. It's so hard to see on this, but it really is. You get such a good a good layer of color and it just matches perfectly okay all right so I'm just gonna go I mean look at that look how vibrant it is so just it is much more vibrant so you just wanna go easy on it and you can always oh there goes my mat I'm trying to not get my mat and my clock faces just fell behind my desk. <laughs> uh, the woes of crafting. Okay? Just enough. And while I do have the sorbet, I am going to put my first layer of mist on these, on these vellum flowers to get them prepped and ready. Because it is going to take a few minutes for them to set. Because it's, because it's vellum, they are not going to soak up the color as easily. They still do, as you can see on my layout, on my original. It just took a couple layers to get them, get them done. Okay, so I'm just kind of scrunching it up. And I just, to, it just gives it a lot more dimension. I'm just taking the bottom and squeezing upwards like this. Really get it moving. Okay. I'm just prepping them and getting them ready. How are we doing all the time? Alright, 
we have a half an hour. That's plenty of time. That's plenty of time. I'm usually pretty good about time, so if Carrie will let me know if I'm talking too much. <laughs> All right, these vellum flowers are so cool. I don't know if anybody has ever made these, um, especially with flowers. I know the vellum was hot uh, <clears throat> in other ways, but I didn't. I've never seen them in flower form yet. Okay. Look how pretty that is. In the middle, I'm going to add some glass beads here, but I'm just going to keep. I'm going to keep working on those here until we're ready to lay them on. All right. So, do 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 do. Next, we're going to get our stencil out. And we're going to work on that real quick because we really got to get that dry. So I'm going to take some of my white texture paste. I'm sorry. It is white sand. And it comes in, I believe there's two sizes. This is an 8.5 ounce, which is plenty for me. But if you're really into, if you're really into texture, <laughs> maybe I should get the bigger jar. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to haphazardly lay on the paste. And it's just going to give a nice bit of dimension. Just enough. Oh, that sound. That's the only thing. Is this scratching. But you will be amazed. It's just enough. It's not too much. It kind of tones down the color bloom a little bit, and it just also just adds a nice bit of texture. It is gritty. It is gritty, but it's a good kind of gritty. Like, I can handle the sound if it makes my page pretty. <laughs> right, girls? You'll do anything to make your pages look pretty. It's all worth it in the end. See how I'm going down? Like, I'm not really, I am going over this a little bit where my cluster is. Just, it's too hard with the stencil, um, even though it is, it is easier with this little guy. Let's get some big ones. And my cluster went like this. Kind of went in a, like a J, a J shape. I don't know if that's the right kind of shape, right letter that I wanted to use, but you get the idea, I hope. <laughs> okay. All right. Look at that. Oh, those bubbles are so cute. It's just the bubbles are add a nice uh, balance to the paper. Um, this is very shabby chic looking and I, I'm kind of like a, I kind of like things different in a way and the bubbles just add this playful feel to it that I really like. You like that? Look how, look how much dimension that gives. Just enough. Okay, so let's blast that with the heat gun and get it dry. I normally, um, I normally have a second page, but with me doing the color bloom first, I just decided to go with it here. So let's do this real quick. I'm just going over with my finger and just kind of wiping off ones where there's bit, bits and pieces of the bubbles that didn't make a full circle and I don't, sometimes that annoys me a little bit. So we just really got to get this really nice and dry. Which is a little tricky. But we have plenty of time. And I still, don't let me forget my clock faces are behind my desk. There's a, about a six inch gap and stuff falls behind there all the time and I forget about it. And then I go back and I'm like, where did I put that? Where 
is it? And also with this, you can also come back in after your cluster and just fill in where you need to. Just got a nice balance of texture and color. And the colors just match the paper just beautifully. Sorry for my sniffles. And I'm going to prep my flowers. And oh, that reminds me. I did miss um, a key element to this. There are, There is a flower that I forgot to introduce. And it is the coffee break ones. And those are... Let me move my paper here so I can see. They are um, five seven eight five one zero. They're called Ice Coffee. They are from the Coffee Break collection, and I did use the yellow one. And I think that there was a couple other ones too. But there's a nice turquoise and a peachy pink, peachy pale pink color. And I used the yellow on the original. Obviously, I don't have that. So I am subbing in this nice uh, yellow one. And it is from, it is Ligero. It, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. It's 578619. It's a nice, and it's going to go perfectly because they do have the beaded centers. Look how pretty that is. Not nice layering very scrunchable very scrunchy Ugh, scrunchies <laughs> anybody remember those so I'm just giving these another quick mist just letting them get set in They're coming along nicely I might just add a little bit more and I got um, more mist on my craft mat which annoys trying to keep my uh, Inglebaum craft mat. If I don't know if you girls know, but this craft mat is amazing. It's It's been life-changing. Crafty life-changing. Alright, so I've been yapping too much. I'm going to just start laying down my layers. And the paste is not quite dry, but that's okay. I'll work around it. Um, I'm going to be using this sweet little photo of my daughter and just adding some foam adhesive to the back. I really want to prop it up a lot because I'm going to be adding some flowers underneath or I'm sorry, underneath and over top. So you just want to get the right height. I don't know if anybody realized but I was looking for a new uh, roll of foam adhesive and I mean I use quite a bit, see? And they they raised the price and gave less pro less product, and I'm annoyed by that. I went all over the place looking, and I guess they caught on to my that I go to the hardware section instead of the crafty section, and they raised the prices on me. <sighs> Anyways, okay, so let's lay this here. She's just so cute. That is why I am sick, is because of this sweet little girl. Look at her. She's the reason for everything, including my illness. But I guess it's worth it. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so we got these vellum flowers ready. And let's see, what do I want to start with first? All right, let's do this big guy, this vellum flower. And we're going to put one on top. And we got to make room for our clock face. So we're going to have to place him just right. I'm going to tuck him in just to, the, just to the side. And he's a little wet still, too. I'm just going to have to deal with it. Make girls, just make sure that your stuff is fully dry. Um, I'm kind of just working with it wet, just going with it. And I'm, I'm going to glue it down slightly because he doesn't want to stay very well. And while I'm at it, I'm just going to add the other one. And this one is more behind. Ugh, they are so pretty. 
I really love this sorbet uh, color bloom. It's like golden orangey tone. We're just going to prop it so it's like kind of sitting sideways a little bit. And it's just going to make way for more flowers underneath. Just adding a nice little flower garden. <laughs> okay, so I'm just pulling out. Uh, there's certain shades. There's a wide variety of greens in here. So I'm just going to be adding the lighter ones that are more yellow toned and not as green. I'm just scrunching those as well. I scrunch a lot of my flowers just because when they're the, in the package, they kind of just go a little flat. And you just want to pick them up a little bit, prop them up. So one goes there. We got one here. Okay, I'm just going to lay those there for now. Now I'm going to get my Kubra roses. Or not roses the yellow guys and there was three of them and I only have two so I'm just gonna go with it that's okay we'll find an alternative here one went up here coming along nicely so it is gonna be different final product but you get the idea these colors still match really nicely and you get lots of options with these flowers. I mean, when you get a variety pack, you can just play and find the combo that you'd like. Okay, so I'm just tucking in my flower or my leaves here and there. Ah, oh, that's pretty. And I am put adding just a slight amount of glue onto my photo, which is usually a no-no. How we doing? Are we hanging in there? You girls look like you're having so much fun. I am glad. Okay, so we're doing real well on time. And we'll finish it up right, right at the end here. Okay, so let's add that final... Okay, so we got this from the... I think it's from the Cigar Box Secrets Collection. The one with the beaded in there. And I'm just going to add a little squirt to the middle just to get even more yellow. Okay. And I'm just tucking it underneath this guy. And they're really going to support the clock face that we're going to be adding in a minute. just fluffing. Do lots of fluffing. Fluff those flowers, girls. All right. Next, what I'm going to do is we're going to try to match these flowers to our layout. And to do that, I'm just going to set this aside so I can do a little bit of misting. Get these Andalusian. And they are more, I don't want to say that they're magenta, but kind of. So we're just going to tone them down a little bit. And to do that, I think I'm going to add, to get peach, I think I'm going to add a squirt of the peony and then a squirt of the sorbet. And you just want to play around with them. And I'm not squirt, I don't want to color this yellow part, so I'm just being really careful to just get, get that magenta side of it. And they're already changing color, which is perfect. So I might not change. I will, you know what? I'm going to try this. I'm going to do a little bit of the sorbet. Because the pink and the yellow is just going to make a nice little peach color, which is going to bring us back to the original perfect. See, sometimes you just have to improvise with what you have. And, and these color blooms make it real easy. Because you can just alter your colors if you need to to make it make it work okay all right
back on the layout, it will go. All right. So we got one tucked up in here, right on top of the leaf. Ugh. Sometimes this glue annoys me. And I did not pull it out, but you can use some of these modeling paste that Finn has made as glue. Um, they make nice, nice, it's almost like decoupage or the Mod Podge. But you can also use them on flowers if you're, if you're in a pinch. But I really like um, this hardcore glue I have here. My feathers are, my altered face is in the way. Just coming along really nice. Now we got one down here. And then we also have one of the Noble, the London Nobles. And I think it was, hmm, let's see. adding a nice bit of pop of color with these turquoise. Just laying that down. All right. Oh, those are so pretty. They're some of my favorites. I can't, I didn't get um, the coffee break one, but I really love these. And we're just gluing it all down here. <clears throat> So you want to know why I haven't trimmed the paper strip off. And I will tell you why. The reason why I didn't, I, I used to trim it off, but whenever I'm taking pictures of my layouts to post online, I can actually, sometimes, you know, you get a, they, I don't want to say warped, but they kind of like the corners stick up a little bit and make it so I just can add a strip of tape to this strip here and then adhere it to the coffee table or um, the table whatever table I'm taking the picture with just to kind of help keep it flat does that make sense and I have a whole box of layouts and I have noticed that some of them didn't even get <laughs> cut off If you haven't noticed, I can be a little absent-minded at times. <laughs> My husband will, he will attest to that. So I'm just adding my leaves here, coming along real nice. How are we on time? Perfect. I'm doing well on time. So I'm going to add another leaf over here. <laughs> Yes. Ah. Sometimes this glue gets on my nerves. It does stick to me a little bit. All right, so. So I'm just primping them a little. I can add another couple leaves if need be. And I mean, even this coffee break, if you wanted to add some more turquoise, you could add it here, like so, and maybe just move this somewhere else, like up here, so it's more balanced. See how it's just a balance of color? I don't have two of the same one right next to each other. You just have a variety, and then it kind of just goes over this way, like that. And I have so much stuff laying around here. I'm very type A, and the mess is driving me nuts. All right, so we're work, We're going to work on that here in a second. I'm just kind of want to make sure. Up here, I had the uh, Kubra from the coffee break, the pink ones, and actually, reason another reason why it's so perfect is she has a cute little flower on her shirt and it just matches perfectly to the pink ones on the original layout. And I was like, oh my word, it matches. It's so cool. What I'm gonna do here, 
in place of the pink one that is up at the left hand corner is I'm just going to add one of these tiara from the London collection just to fill in just for tonight just for tonight stay I talk to my layouts a lot if you haven't noticed so I'm just adding those two Coming along nicely. Maybe tuck this one in. Or, bah. This one does not want to stay. Alright, let's add a little bit of foam adhesive over here. Just keep that stuck down. Because it is being a bit unruly. Alright. Now let's put your path on. And what I did was I just tore or I cut a strip whoops and I just layer them like this Yes, you got a nice tricolor with these London flowers, the tiara. There's actually, I think there's seven different varieties that you can choose from. I think that I saw that there was seven. And you're just going to place that down right here. Or you can place it anywhere. You can put it down here and add another flower, whatever you need to do. And I'm going to run down here and grab my clock faces that fell. And there they are. What you're going to do with these is, come on, come on, all right, there's one. I'm going to take one of the bigger ones, it says Prima in the middle, and that's so cute. Okay, and then I'm going to take a smaller size one and just add another little bit of adhesive. I use a lot of adhesive. Add it to the center. I'm going to take a these can probably this can get a little crazy here because there's so many small pieces don't try this at home. They're falling everywhere. Ah! Where is my black one? Okay, so I used a very large black one and a small hand. And all I did, this is little dabble do ya. Add it to my center, like so. Just lay them down nice and neat. Ah, there's too much glue. This is what I don't like about this. We have a love hate relationship with this Fabri-Tac, and it got everywhere, but you get the idea. And I did this was up and this was over. Look, I have to look I have to have it the exact same time as I have it on the original. Neurotic Okay. Where are my uh 3D stickers? Where did those get to? Great. They have disappeared in front of my very eyes. Okay. And what I love about these 3D stickers is these sweet little gems that you get with them. I think you get 12. And I'm just going to put the brown tone one. If you want to make a pop of color, just add a brighter one. 
gonna tuck that in right here. I want to cover her sweet face too much. I'm gonna turn this around. We're almost done. I thank you for your patience. Hope you ladies, do you have any questions? It's just the perfect amount of layering. Really sweet. And the white from the street sign and the clock and the tassel just adds a really nice balance to all the color you have on your background. And it kind of goes with, there's like a glare. The sun was actually shining in and it's a little white up here. So it's just balancing that out as well. Ooh, must, okay. And then I just added this sweet tassel. This, these tassels have these little metal embellishments on it and this one's a little angel. I don't know if you can see it. It's so, so, so pretty. And I'm just gonna tuck that in like so. Now this texture paste is white. It is gonna dry slightly clear but you're still going to keep that dimension. See, it is drying more, and it's just very subtle. Look how much dimension you're going to get. Get a better look at those vellum. Ah, the vellum. How could I forget these? And that is gonna these this adding these glass beads that I'm going to do in a minute is just really gonna balance that out. Just give it a nice bit of shimmer and shine. Just coming in. And you mean you can add it while it's dry right directly onto the paste. That's just gonna add enough. And it, it pretty much looks like the original. And it just a little adds a little something extra. Aha. Let me see if I can get a close up. It's hard to tell. It's hard to see it on the camera. But it is really pretty, I assure you. Yes, they are glass beads by Finnabar. It is Prima. And it's art ingredients. I think I think I want to say that there is at least four varieties. There's butter, there is a purple, I think there might be a clear one or crystal like color. You get a nice decent sized jar, I mean it's two ounces. There is the glass bead, I'm sorry, the glass beads, the glass glitter, you got glitter, um, I feel like I'm forgetting something, it just adds a lot. Prima's got it all. And that's about it. Okay. I mean, look how th these match the paper. Once you get the paper, you'll see that these uh, tan centers or these tan flowers there's, there's three different fl colored flowers. There's a turquoise, there's a rose, and then there's a tan. And the tan colors have these yellow centers, and this yellow is really making it pop. It's a nice balance. See, there's just little bits of yellow here, and then there's a lot of yellow on the page, and it's really just making everything nice and balanced and just married so well together. Okay? Any other questions? Is your writing upside down? No. Yes, it is. I did. I did do it upside down. But, but, see, this is, this is actually a good lesson. Okay, so the strip is down here which is fine, and I've actually ha run into issues before where I did the whole page upside down and forgot about this, and 
it really doesn't matter. The letters, some of them are upside down and some of them are right side up. And really, I like the... <laughs> I just like the interest of it, that it's not perfect. Okay? Well, you have a look at that. Thank you for pointing that out. That's a great point. And I might add a little bit, a couple more squirts in here at the end. Look at me, I'm adding, adding, adding. You just get the uh, general idea. Just adding a pop of the peony just squirting it down here a little. Can you believe it? My daughter is still awake. She's been sick this week and um, she fell asleep around 5 o'clock and I was like, no, my class! Just squirt, add a little squirt, 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 and we're good to go. Okay, perfect imperfection. That is correct. <laughs> And when you come to my classes, you will realize that I am perfectly imperfect, and that's okay. If I wanted to, I could just take everything, and, and while it's still dry, and just move it. Awesome. Uh, all right. Okay, so let me pull this back up. So, girls, it was so good having you come today, and... Hold on. I don't like that my head's chopped off. Okay. So we got this. I hope that you enjoyed this class tonight. You'll run out and pre-order or order these fabulous products. I don't know if the flowers are on sale yet for the general public. I think it's just retailers right now. But they will be in store soon. I know that... Um, they're starting to send out the Coffee Break collection and Finn's art mediums and stencils and the Bloom Girl stuff. Okay, awesome. Thanks so much for coming. I'm so happy to have had the chance to spend some time with you tonight. And if you have any questions, you can email me. There's a link on my blog. They can email me. Um, you can write a message on my blog or my Facebook fan page with any questions that you might have. I'm happy to help out. Um, don't forget about uh, the special guest tomorrow on Live with Prima. It's a special uh, feature at Prima headquarters. Okay? Yes. Everything's going to be in stores soon. Very soon. All right. All right, thanks so much for coming, ladies. Thank you.